Hi, I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my current morning skincare routine. If you want some vibrance and a little bit of face massage and some actives that are gonna pack a punch, you might wanna continue watching. My name is Abigail James. I'm an esthetician, mother, author, and welcome to my channel. Obviously, um, I have been playing around with some new products from Lily Silk. I don't know whether you've heard of them. They've got lots of lovely silk products from pajamas to hair ties to pillowcases. Actually, this top is one of theirs as well. It's kind of, I think it's called mulberry silk, what they, what they use. But I, I particularly like it because it's soft. It's a natural fibre. I kind of get quite sweaty at night, so I actually use this vest, which is quite decadent, to sleep in. Uh, I like to feel quite loose and airy. And this particular one, it's got a double layer, so you feel slightly protected as well. Anyway, and the, the hair scrunchies, it kind of feels like a blast from the past with hair scrunchies. Growing up in the 80s and 90s, we just standardly had them on our wrists. It was just kind of what we did, and now they've just become part of our, our life again. And silk on the hair, instead of, you know, the, the just little elastic bands, it's just really soft on the hair and just a bit kinder to hair and skin. Anyway, let's jump in with my morning routine. I'm starting with a face massage. And I know you might be thinking, Abigail, that's wrong. There's no said rules when it comes to skincare. Well, no, I like it. There are certain rules. However, I've been doing this method for years and it's something that I'm writing about in my next book. But massaging your face is key to boosting circulation, energizing, draining. You know, there's so much that you can do with face massage and actually if you're interested in that, you might like to see some of my other face massage routines, but this morning I'm using Neil's Yard Wild Rose Glow Face Oil to do, I'm going to say a three to five minute face massage before I go in with my cleanser. I'm going to put one and a little bit pipette in the palm of my hand. It smells beautiful. Oh, those moments of self-care as well. If you're not familiar with Neil's Yard, they are celebrating their 40th anniversary this year. So they know a thing or two when it comes to organic and natural skincare. They have been certified by the Soil Association, I think since early 1990s, maybe 91, something like that. This particular oil that I'm using, it's got a really beautiful slip to it for massaging. I know if you're into your face oils, you'll appreciate that some are drier, some are thicker, but this particular one, it's got a really lovely slip, which allows for a great massage. What they're kind of using in the Wild Rose range, one of their, I suppose, key oils is organic rosehip seed oil, which there's so much research about using rose seed oil for skin rejuvenation and age prevention. I think there's some studies saying that rose seed oil can stimulate moisture within the skin for up to 12 hours, which is kind of cool. Okay, so while I've been talking, I've just been applying and smushing, but I want to do some specific moves that I like to do in the morning I have got makeup on my skin because I cleansed my face last night. So my skin is kind of clean, which is why I'm going straight in with a face oil before I'm going in with cleansing. In the morning, I like to be a lot more active with my face massage. Definitely starting off on the neck. Wake everything up. The lymph vessels, ease the muscles. 
the moves are faster and yes I am going up and down and yes it is perfectly safe to okay I'm going to glide with knuckles either side of the jaw I do find in the morning as you get to the masita muscle and jaw muscle it can almost feel a bit clunky because it's just so tense if you wanted to do one side first and then the other you absolutely can do I like in the morning doing both sides at the same time just because it speeds the process up I've got stuff to do however this next move I'm going to do one side so my knuckle is under the jaw and I'm pushing out and I'm going to go to the other side and some big face push-ups. So I'm using my pads underneath my cheekbones, a little bit of a hook before coming off. And you might see I'm starting at the jaw and pushing all the way up. You can then take that to one side Use both hands, then the other. I'm going to do a little bit of what I'm calling whipping, supporting underneath the cheekbone. I find if you soften the jaw, you get a better result. And then the other. little bit of smoothing underneath eyes. So the beautiful scent in this particular oil, uh, they've got frankincense, geranium, a little bit of rosemary which kind of gives it a little bit more oomph which is why I think it's quite good for a morning. So with this I'm literally pushing up and gliding out and being quite firm with that. Then we can do some zigzags. And then some tapping all over. Down the neck, get that lymph flow going. Wake up the brain. I'm going to use a gentle face wash over the top of it. I'm using a cosmetics crystal cleanse. I think this is reasonably new actually. It's a hydrating wash. But when I say wash, it kind of, it doesn't foam at all. It goes into a little bit more of a, a milky kind of texture. And I'm going straight over the top of my oil. This is gentle enough for all skin types. I haven't yet come across a skin type that this doesn't work for. Cleansing, make it a minute, 60 seconds. You've got to allow the cleanser enough time to do its thing. I actually quite like the feeling because if you've got a little bit of oil on the skin, I find you get a little bit of a, an emulsification. I'm going to add some water. I don't know whether you can see, but that's gone quite milky. Then I'm going to use cloth to wipe it all off, this damp cold cloth. Okay, all thoroughly cleansed. I'm just going to pat 
let my skin dry. That is a baby muslin. I love using baby muslins on, on my face. Okay. I'm then going to go in with a gentle AHA tonic. So we've massaged, cleansed, now a gentle exfoliation. So actually, I'm going back to another Neil's Yard product. This is their Wild Rose AHA Toner. This is particularly lovely if you just want the most gentle of exfoliations. I am putting it into cotton pads. I'm just using the one for now. And I'm wiping over. There is, I think, lime fruit extract in this. Uh, and citric acid, but also aloe vera. So yes, it's got some AHAs, which are alpha hydroxy acids, to do with gentle exfoliation, but you've also got the aloe vera, which is getting some hydration and makes it a little bit more soothing. So I'm just gonna leave that to do its thing for a moment. I haven't really got any sensation on the skin. This particular one you can use morning and night but yeah cruelty free as with all of Neil's Yard's products um, they are certified organics. Okay. So I've just let that dry do its thing and then I'm going to go in with a nice punchy vitamin C. One of my all-time favorite vitamin C's it's IS Clinical Super Serum Advance. So it's a watery and it is a proper watery kind of serum. I put that into the palm of my hand and then I'm pressing it on to my skin. So a 15% L-ascorbic acid, which is your vitamin C, with copper tripeptides. So your peptides are stimulating collagen production. I find this particular one, it's punchy, yeah? So when you apply it, to start with, I find you don't really feel much, but then as it's absorbing and it's doing its thing, you definitely get a bit of a tingle um, because it is a really active serum. So I've pressed that in. I have stuck to my face with the AHA, the Neil's Yard, as well as this Ice Clinical Super Serum, just because the skin on my neck is a little bit more sensitive. So I'm kind of keeping it to this area. Iris Clinical Super Serum, it's great for an even skin tone. I find it's great for refining texture, brightness. It's a punchy serum. So if you want results, this is definitely one of my go-to vitamin C serums. Okay, I wanna get some hydration in. I love, uh, to be honest, every day we'll do two serums in the morning it's just kind of standard in my routine so i'm using the oskia isotonic hydro serum it's a blend of i think they've got 16 different actives in here that kind of work together but hyaluronic but you've also got ceramides amino acids and a whole host of other things so it's not just a hyaluronic serum it's doing a whole load of other things. So I'm going over the top of my super serum and I am taking that down my neck. I gave my super serum just a moment to absorb, do its thing, before I then went on with my hydrating serum on top. Then I am going to go on with a moisturiser. I'm going back to IS Clinical. I'm using their Reparative Moisture Emulsion. Wow, as a moisturizer, this is really kind of amazing. I'm using two pumps. It packs a punch with hydration. It's rich, but not thick. You feel the hydration. Loads of peptides, antioxidants. I am I don't know whether you noticed, I'm going over my lips as well as I'm applying that. And yes, I am going directly under my eyes and smoothing all of that down. I totally forgot 
forgot to put my eye cream on. I would normally put my eye cream on either before my serums or after my serum, but underneath my moisturiser. This is a little travel size. This is not a full size. It's from Skin Better Science. It's their Interfuse Eye Gel Cream. It's got that lovely hydrating feeling to it. I'm going over my eyelids and under. You can smooth, you can tap. Okay, now I'm going on with an SPF. I'm using the Ultra Sun SPF 50. This is their tinted SPF. It's, uh, I think this, I don't know whether they do different colours, but however, this one is called Honey. So it's got vitamin E in it. So it's not just a case of, right, we've just put the UV filters in there. They have put some skin nourishing and, hydra and hydrating ingredients in there as well. So there's a number of different antioxidants. I find it blends lovely. It's super dewy, hydrating, nourishing, but it doesn't bobble whatsoever and it doesn't feel heavy at all on the skin. I am only putting that from here to here because it's got the tint and I don't want to get tint if I'm going to, you know, put a different top on or something. I don't want to get tint beyond that. So uh, I will be applying a different SPF on my neck and decollete. So for neck and decollete, I am using Cosmetics Reflect SPF 30. It's a spray. It is super light in texture. If I was applying that just to my face, I could spray it directly on. But I love its light texture. Try not to get any on my lovely silk top but going around the back of my neck, tops of ears. So just making sure that I've got enough SPF coverage if I'm gonna step outside. Frankly, this morning, I am gonna be working from home, glued to my laptop for a bit. So that is my current morning skincare routine. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. You can also find other videos about face massage and health and specific products. I know I've got a brilliant video that I created on collagen supplements, which you might find interesting if you're into your skincare. Thank you so much for watching and I really look forward to sharing lots more with you soon.